Welcome to my desktop. Some of you may be wondering why I'm on a computer and I will explain that in a moment. Uh, everyone that watches my channel does so mainly for Xbox 360 games and in that small subsection mainly for Call of Duty games. It started with Call of Duty 4 although I played as early as Call of Duty 2 and it pretty much died out around Black Ops. And the reason it died out is because of a game known as StarCraft 2. It is an RTS game for the computer. And that's that's the main reason. There's another underlying reason that uh, shooters have kind of dwindled in skill level, dwindled in you know overall quality over the last few years. And I just generally slowly and slowly disliked it until finally I found something else. And the reason you're looking at my desktop is because because of my Switch, some people have requested that maybe I make videos for StarCraft 2. Uh, I purchased Fraps so I'll be able to you know, do such a thing. But first, just testing, I'm going to do a silly little math trick that I discovered a few years ago. And I'm going to go ahead and teach it with paint and notepad. And with some, also some assistance from Maple. So let me go ahead and pull up my windows. And see, so I already have this typed out here. And these are the instructions for squaring a number. Actually, let's ignore that right, right now. Okay, so first we have to get some motivation. So a couple of years ago, uh, probably like six, five years ago, um, I heard about this trick, or I learned about this trick where you could square numbers with fives in the ones place. So if I wanted to square 15, and the trick is, let me see, square, beautiful writing, square 15. Okay, you take the digit to the left in the tens place, and you multiply it by itself plus one, so one times two and you end up getting 2. You take that number and add it to 25. Or you, another way of saying that is you take that number, multiply it by 100, and then add it to 25. So that's 225, and that is the answer. And so is, I don't know, let's do 45. So 4 times 5 is 20, plus 25. And just let me pull up maple real quick to show that these are indeed the right answers. You see I already pulled up something else from earlier, which I will be using that shortly. 212, 225, no. 15 squared, oh man. You get 225, and what was the other one? 45. I'm not good at typing live. Okay, so 2025, and that is the answer. That's what we got. So I saw this trick, and I thought, you know, it's brilliant. I love math, and I love mental math. And I wanted to figure out a way to do this for all two digit numbers. And what I came up with was kind of silly because it's sort of obvious now that I look back at it, but it, it's, it is a surprisingly efficient way of multiplying numbers in your head, or squaring numbers in your head. And it actually goes back to the elementary way of multiplying numbers, getting two columns, or two rows with our numbers lined up. You multiply and then you add. I'll bring it up later. So first, let's get some motivation for the trick, or at least, you know, show the trick. So... 42, we're going to square 42. And I'm going to pull up my notepad just so you can see what's going on. First, we're going to square the tens digit and then multiply by 100. So, let me see, square it so it's 16, because 4 squared is 16. And multiply by 100 is just another way of saying that we mentally, you know, observe two blank spaces to the right. Because those are those normally be zeros. But we're going to go ahead and form this number all at once without making uh, rows to multiply. With add with, sorry. Okay, so first you do that, and then second, you can do these in any order actually, since it's addition and addition, you can do it in any order. So first, you square the tens digit, and then second, I usually square the ones digit, and multiply by one. I put this multiply by one just to keep it consistent, going down, and really all that means is you do nothing with it. So let's square two, and let's put it right there, oh, right there. Okay, now second, or that was second. Now third, we multiply the digits together and then multiply by 2. So let's take 4 and 2, multiply them together, we get 8. Multiply that by 2 and we get 16. And then again we multiply by 10, or not again by 10, but again we multiply by something else. And this is just to move it over 1. So we move a 16 and we move it over 1. You could put a 0 here, just mentally it's better not to. Less space you have to take up in your mind. So the final answer would be 4, 6, that 6 goes in there, uh, 7, and one.
This is the answer we came up with with this trick and this bullet maple. And you see earlier I did 42, just so I wouldn't have to type it in. Because you can see how bad my typing is with those. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and erase all of this with our handy undo function. I could box and erase, but I'm too lazy. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and let's pick a random number. Let's do 73. 73, that is 10, that's good. And let's 73 squared. And I'm not going to use my trick this time. I'm just going to show the, some more motivation on the proof of the trick. So we take 73. This is the old fashioned way of doing it. And if what I was talking about earlier with two rows and we multiply and then we, we get some, we get stuff here and then we get another thing and then we add and then we get the final answer. And basically what this trick is doing or this method of doing is doing, uh, you just multiply all of this in your head but you don't think about it the same way. And I'll go ahead and explain why. So what we do, we, we squared the tens digit. Well actually, in this method first, what you end up doing, if you're doing a square, you end up squaring the ones digit first. So if we were to do this, we'd multiply three by three and we'd get nine. And we keep it in the ones place. Because we, we, we multiply by one. That's another silly way of saying it, but we keep it as to the far right. So our answer will always have a 9 right here. So let me go ahead and put that there. Okay, and then second, we multiply 7 by 3. And this comes down to step 3, actually. Where we multiply the two digits together. So we do 7 times 3, and we do that once right here. So let's just put a tally here. We do it once. Okay, and then I'm not, I'm not going to worry about doing this. I'm just trying to go through and show the motivation for it. Okay, so we... You get 3 by 3, 3 by 7, and now we're done with that row. And now what you do is you add a 0. And adding that 0 is another way of multiplying by 10. And with that 0, we multiply 7 by 3. And that's the second time we do it. And that's where that 2 comes from. We do that twice, 7 times 3, twice. And then finally, we do this 7, and you'd get 49 over here. And if you notice, this 49 would be have another digit right here. So in essence, 49 would have two zeros to the right, and that is where that 100 comes from. So now I'm going to go through and... Whoop, I'm still on notepad. Now I'm going to go through and show the simple way of proving it using uh, this multiplying binomials and using the facts about our base 10 number system. So 73 can be rewritten as 7 times 10 plus 3. And, you know, this is kind of stupid. Everyone knows this. Let me go ahead and erase this. Oh. Okay, so 7 times 10 plus 3. Now, why would I do this? And you'll see in a moment how, how much simpler this makes the proof. So we take 7 times 10 plus 3. And if we're going to square this, let me go ahead and copy. I'm going to write that again. C and we multiply them together. And how do you do this? I'm sure everyone's heard of the FOIL method. Simple way of multiplying binomials. You you do the first ones first. So you do seven, uh, 70 by 70 basically. But I'm going to illustrate this with the tens to illustrate where this 100, this 1, and this 10 comes from. Because and this really isn't a proof with this example because it could work differently for other examples. So if I was doing a rigorous proof, I would uh, replace 7 and 3 with something like A and B. Just, just you know, general variables that are in the set of natural numbers. But I'm not going to go there. It's too mathy. I'm just going to show it like this. So we have 7 times 7 times 10 times 10. And let me go ahead and back that up a little bit just to make it simpler. That's 7 times 7 times 100. And I could back it up even more. And the same thing as 7 squared times 100. So that is our first digit squared times 100. And now, next we do first outer. Because FOIL. Let me go ahead and write that out. We do first, outer, inner, and then last. So we did first, and then we do outer. So we do 7 times 10 times 3. Okay, we'll leave that alone for now. Uh, now we do inner. We do 7 times 10 times 3. Again. So we can go ahead and just add a 2 there instead of writing it out twice. 
and then last we add we add in this last obviously three times three so that's nine or otherwise known as three squared and here it should be pretty evident that everything has come together you squared the tens digit you multiply one by 100 okay check squared the ones digit and then multiply by one okay we put a one here just so it's consistent and then lastly we multiply the digits together and then multiply by two so we have seven times three times two and finally multiply by ten and that is everything and that covers the the proof per se of why this works and the reason it's simpler to do in your head is simply because you don't have to worry about these you just visualize extra spaces so let's say we're let's just make six spaces in our mind although our, I doubt our number will be that big as 99 times 99 does not cover six spaces so uh, I, uh, let's go ahead and finish, figure out what 73 would be so we take 73 and that'd be 49 we'll leave two spaces left for that 100 okay we do three and we got a nine so we're thinking four nine zero nine in our head we're thinking four nine zero nine and now we need to add we need to add in seven times three twenty one forty two we need to add in forty two with the space left over so we need to add that in in our head and you can visualize these numbers in sitting on top and you get a two let me go ahead and erase this because it ends up going to three and that will end up going to five and once again, just to show that this is the correct answer, we're going to go ahead and take 3. Yep, there is my typing. 5329, 5329. And uh, that's my tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed this video, even if you hate math, which I'm sure most of you do. But that'll be all. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see any videos, uh, like this, you know, with math related, it could be Photoshop, it could be Sony Vegas, and or if you want to see some StarCraft videos, just let me know, and I'll be happy to, uh, you know. So that says Jagger, in case you didn't know, because I cannot draw. And uh, thanks for watching.